Okay, so we're going to have a quick refresher on the uh, loft tool. Um, so let's just get started. Um, first, you know, normally we look at the uh, plain square. Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to right click over in the white space and click asymmetric. And now let's select the plane. And this is usually easy because we are uh, looking at it in what they call normal um, but uh, or flat. But now that it's in the isometric view, make sure we've got the front plane selected. You, you could do any one, but for this exercise, I want you to do the front. All right, so I'm going to uh, right click on the front plane. So you can see that it's highlighted. And we're going to say offset plane. And um, this window pops up. You can already see that there's a second plane that is parallel to the front plane, this plane one. Well, let's change the offset distance to four inches. I'm doing that just so it's clear that this plane is parallel to the front plane. Okay. Um, once I have done that, now I have these two parallel planes. Great. All right. So let's change this around and look at it a little bit more closer to flat or square or normal. Um, and let's sketch. And it's always going to ask us to select a sketch plane. But now we have these two that are easy to mistake. So watch something. If I click here, you can see that plane one is highlighted. Um, let's click on it. Up here, plane one appears. It it's telling us which plane we're um, uh, drawing on. If I had X, I'll X out of that, let's um, make another sketch. And instead, just pretty close, but if I click on here, the sketch plane is the front plane. So uh, it matters which of these two you're choosing, and you can select either one, depending on what you want to do. So now let's just, it's, you need an offset plane to use the loft tool. That's why we're uh, working with this. Okay, so now I'm going to sketch, and I'm going to sketch on plane one. And um, I'm going to choose a corner rectangle. Put it here. Whoa. Let's fix. All right, and now we've got our uh, rectangle on plane one. Actually, it's telling me that it's on the front plane. Uh, so let's sketch again. And since that one was on the front plane, I need to make sure this one's on plane one. I need to have the, the two shapes on two different planes. Now I'm on plane one. I am going to select. Could, you can do anything. I don't care. Uh, just have fun. So I'm going to pick this uh, described polygon. Not going to let me do that. And I chose it. Boom. Now remember, up, down is more sides, up is fewer sides. Let's leave it as a. And I'm going to check mark that. Now if we spin this. You can see I've got a rectangle back here, and I've got a hexagon here. And we're going to choose the loft tool. Now it's pretty easy. It's going to ask me what two things do I want to connect. I'm going to choose, there's one, and there's the other. And it makes them fit. So your assignment is to make something with the loft tool. You want to do something a little more challenging? See if you can uh, connect several uh, planes. So, let me play around. All right, nice. Oh, and uh, alternatively, by the way, you could try to remove material using the loft tool and see if you can make an interesting hole uh, or gap in something.